every time it flashes, it beeps. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Grace. I'm a farmer, photographer, welder, now a YouTuber, I guess. And today, I'm sick, which is why I sound disgusting. But I had quite an eventful day. I edited my YouTube video this morning that went up yesterday. I will link that here. If you haven't watched it, you probably should. Then, after that, me and my papa went out on our bi-weekly slash weekly lunch date and grocery shopping trip together. Um, I got home about one o'clock from that. I sat down and I actually got ready and... Oh, I played with my dogs, that's what I did. Now I'm running to town to, I gotta run some errands and I gotta stuff in my PO box and... Oh God, I feel like... Bye. Then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I don't wanna talk a lot because I hate the way that I talk when I'm sick and I don't want you guys to have to listen to that but also like if I don't talk what is the video gonna be about so I'm in quite the conflicting uh, situation right now so I guess I'm gonna talk and if you don't want to listen to me talk like this just go watch another video I'll link another one up here for you and please don't comment about it because I don't like it either okay but I can't help it thank you also I've been sneezing all day for all my sneeze fetish people I will not be sneezing on camera anymore because you have scared me. And also, I'm not gonna give those away for free now. Now that I know it's a fetish. This isn't a charity. What do you think this was? I think I wasn't gonna find out. I think I was just gonna keep handing those out for free. No! You gotta pay for that now. So disclaimer, I don't actually sell sneeze videos or sneezes, so please don't, don't DM me. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little reflection on Farm Show because I didn't record at all. I had such a great time though, but I didn't record hardly anything. I was mainly just like trying to enjoy in the moment and then when I thought to pick up a camera, I picked up a camera. That's why my last two videos were so short. Yeah, I had a great time. I didn't hardly record at all, but like sometimes that's a good thing because that just shows that you're really living in the moment that's there, if that makes sense. So I went to the show every day for a little bit. The first day I stayed all day long. The second day I think I also stayed most of the day. Friday, I didn't stay there very long Friday, but I was there for like two or three hours. And then Saturday I was there from like two or three, maybe four hours, I think four. But since I did go every day, I didn't think it was necessary to stay all day every day because that's a lot. And those of you that have been to the farm show before, you understand. Those of you that have not, um, it's a really large show. If you were to go all day, every day for four days, you could see everything. But that's a lot of walking. To be honest with you, there were some things that I didn't care to see. I saw everything I wanted to see, and that's all that matters to me. I go every year, so a lot of it is the same thing that was there last year. two days straight and two half days and saw everything I wanted to see. I wish that would shut up. And for those of you about to come at me, no, it's not my seatbelt light. So I went two full days, two half days, saw everything I wanted to see, and I got to have fun while I was there. I had a great time. Farm show week is and always will be my favorite week of the year. I don't know, something about a bunch of farmers all in one city together is just like a rowdy time. Also, huge shout out to the group that I went with. You guys are awesome. I will be linking their YouTube channels throughout this video, so go check them out if they're linked up there. I think you should check them out. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna continue to drive and then I will come back when we're at the post office. We cannot fit in these parking spots. So, that is unfortunate. Guess I'm gonna go inside now. I'm back. I got two little pieces of mail. I'm gonna open them, but I'm not gonna read them to you because they're letters and like, I believe when people send me letters, they send them in confidence that I'm not gonna read them to anybody. So I'm not gonna read them to anybody because Duh. You don't read your letters that somebody else wrote you to a bunch of random people. Well, you guys aren't random people. You're my friends, but also like, 
you guys don't know this person, so I'm not gonna read you the letter that they sent me. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna read it uh, to myself in my brain. Some people are just so nice, you know what? Thank you guys so much for always thinking of me. It really means a lot. I just feel like some bigger YouTubers can kind of look over the people that watch their videos and like kind of brush it off as not a big deal. I mean, I just got two pieces of mail and I'm on top of the world because that's two people that thought of me when they went to the post office, you know what I mean? You guys are the reason that I can post these videos for you because you just keep supporting me. So obviously, I'm gonna acknowledge that. Right, like I, it's rude not to. And it's selfish not to, and it's like stuck up not to, you know what I mean? So thank you guys, all of you that continue to watch my videos and all of the new people that are starting to watch my videos, you guys mean the world to me. You guys are what is put, that you um you had you you guys are the reason that I can put food on my table. We'll just put it like that. It might not be the way that it's supposed to go, but we're gonna put it like that. Farming's my job too, but I don't make a whole lot doing that. So YouTube is what pays my bills for the most part. So you guys just watching my videos is enough. But to go out of your way and send me like a letter or a card or a package, that just absolutely like puts me on cloud nine. So thank you. I didn't mean to get sentimental in this video, but we did anyway, right? The ones that like ride or die for me. I'd do anything for you. I would die for you. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna go get a coffee because a, 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 a lady be thirsty. We don't say the B word around here. I mean, sometimes, but not on this channel. Not when we're talking about me. I'm a lady. And this lady is thirsty, so I'm gonna go get a coffee. Man, I got this song stuck in my head now from a TikTok. Rut row is rear end. Dang, there's like a bunch of cars involved. Shoot! Oh, I need to get fuel. We'll do that after coffee. Coffee is first and foremost. Oh my god, shut up. Shut up. The beeping is I have a tail or like my rear passenger turn signal is not working and like the light is on. It just doesn't flash. So I think it's a relay, but it keeps flashing saying the lamp's out and every time it flashes because every time I hit a bump is when it flashes. Every time it flashes, it beeps sick of it. I was gonna go to the gym today, but... Uh-uh. Oh no, baby. We not going to the gym. We going to Duncan. <laughs> Wait, is Duncan even open at this hour? What time is it? Yeah, they're open. But now it's working! That sounded terrifying. But now it's working! Okay. Yo, okay, question for the dudes out there that have a Snapchat. If you don't have a Snapchat, you don't need to tell me that in the comments, okay? But if you do have a Snapchat, riddle me this. If you Snapchat a girl every day, sometimes twice a day, and she never responds, why do you keep snapping her? That's so dumb. Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right, ladies and gents. We are officially a uh, coffeeified. That's not a word. No, it's not a word. That's why my truck gets so dirty because I literally just like take the garbage, throw it away, right there on my floor. What the heck? I could go if these people would hurry up. Oh, I need to name this truck. I haven't named it yet, but I was thinking like Vengeance. Uh, I'm a little sick, so you probably have no idea what I'm saying. Vengeance? I, I'll put it on the screen. Vengeance. Uh, Alright! Well, it's starting to get dark, so I'm gonna listen to some tunes. Got my Bluetooth speaker. And you chose the diesel pump? Yeah, it's because you drive a charger. Hey, don't worry, buddy! I'll just come up here and do a 72-point turn so that you can just pull your little car into the... Oh, 
I gotta find out who that is because I know who he works with. Uh, if you're watching this and you didn't know, don't smoke at gas pumps. What? Sorry, is this new to knowledge to people? There, I was talking to a very important person. I'm just kidding, it's my girl Kayla. I actually have a video with her when I went to visit her farm. I will link that up here. Make sure to go watch it. I don't know what side it is. I mean, now that I've switched to the GoPro, like I'm confused all over again. I was starting to get the hang of it when I was recording on my phone, but now that it's on the GoPro, I'm confused again. So I think, I think it's this side. That's gonna be my guess. Click on the link at this side of the video in this corner to go watch the video of me and Kayla. I don't know if that's right. It's probably not. If it's not, don't DM me. I'll get it right next time. Probably not, but I'm gonna try my best, okay? <coughs> oh my God. I just about had a near-death experience. Something that will always like confuse the heck out of me is why that every time I step foot into a gas station, I have to buy a beverage. Well, I, I literally just bought a drink like two minutes ago. And then I walked straight to the gas station and bought a drink. Why do I? Oh my God. Sometimes you can never just have too many. Like sometimes I'm in the mood for something citrusy like Mellow Yellow. And sometimes I'm in the mood for something. What would be the word for this? Like sweet? But that's also sweet. I don't know. You know what I mean. Like, there's two different. Like, I want to say chocolatey, but it's not chocolate. But I, I think know. you guys are catch my drift. Wow. I didn't realize my wheel was turned all the way to the right, and I almost crashed into that dude's car. I mean, it's not. I'm not gonna say anything further, actually. Whoa! Think, should we come up with a Whoa. code Nelly. for the B word? I'm not gonna say it. For the B word, our new code word is lady. Yeah, I like it. Somebody oh, goes, it's dark outside. I just burped, but I'm about to cut that out because anyway, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. It. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below and check out my merch at farmergrace.com and I will talk to you guys.